Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kodash. I'm Taziar Gabar from Prophecy of Babylon, Waco, Texas. Under, and this brother here. Atiyak Napash. All right, under the branch of the Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida camp, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace salutation to Hope for Elect. This is going to be a class on going into Jacob's trouble. Um, the, men is, the men of the Lord being that valuable source to salvation and the fall of these women, you know, All right, because, you know, once all hell break loose and chaos abrupt, the things that we've been prophesying um, all these years, starting with the elders and apostles, you know, they've been doing this for decades on top of decades, you know. So once these things finally happen, we we know through the spirit power Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that the Lord will be dealing with us, all right. And the Lord dealing with His men first and foremost. You know, you Israelite men, the prophets, um, the prophets of the Lord. You know, so uh, you can grab that. Wait, Isaiah thirteen twelve. No. Oh. Hold it. This is Jeremiah. Just Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right, so it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. So when this day take place, whenever... Because we see it happening. You know, right now we're in the beginning of sorrows, the rumors of wars. But when this, when this great day happens, it's going to be a chaotic event. And it's going to escalate full blown Jacob's trouble soon. So, and brothers have been speaking about this for years and years, you know. And it's going to be a great day. None like it. You know, this this man closing down stores. You're seeing more and more uh, store closures, grocery stores closing. When this famine hits, when the prophets of the Lord are on the, the web no more, the internet, get Amos 8 and 11. So when we're not teaching... When we're not physically out there on the highways and hedges. Um, when it, when it's the more lockdowns, when these lockdowns begin to be mandatory, when there's martial law troopers out patrolling the streets, curfews, which you saw a glimpse of that in uh, 2020, you know? So when these things start to happen, all right, that's this man setting up his his um stage. You know, he's gonna put all this hell on the world in order to, you know, push his his agenda, his new world order, which he wants basically the whole entire world to get um the sea hip pursuant to Revelation 13 and 16. So he's going to cause all these problems. Man-made famines, uh, store closures, martial law, patrolling the streets. Um, what else? The, the curfews. You're going to have so, so much time to do all your, your daily needs. All right, he's gonna cause all this hell 
to put fear in people's hearts to ultimately submit to his new world order system, which is to get that Revelation 13, you know, 15, 16 to see him. Same way he scared the whole entire world um, in that special year of 2020, you know, to receive that, that poisonous liquid. All right, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So he's gonna come in that same like manner. All right, get Amos eight and eleven. Amos eight and eleven. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So this famine in particular is talking about hearing the words of the Lord. Um, although it is going to be a famine of bread and water, but this scripture is talking about hearing the words of the Lord. And the words of the Lord come out through his prophets. You know, as it say in Amos 3 and 7, surely get that 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 7. three and seven surely the lord will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants the prophets so his servants the prophets the men who are doing these lessons who's out there on the forefront on the streets preaching preaching his gospel um grab isaiah 51 and i mean it's isaiah 58 and 1 Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. All right, so cry aloud. Surely the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secrets to his servants. What is the secrets, you know? The mysteries, the kingdom, the prophecies that's going to take place on this earth. You know, the mass death and destruction that's going to happen on this earth. He revealed all that to his servants, the prophets, because the only... His men understand the, the deep breakdowns of the scriptures. You know, these Christian churches, pastor, pork chop, wherever. All these guys in the world that's preaching, they don't have the true understanding of the scripture, scriptures, you know. They don't go precept upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here little, there little. You know, the Lord wasn't, the Lord didn't give them that talent you know so he revealed his secrets unto his service the prophets and now Isaiah 58 and 1 says cry aloud so he got his men out on the streets crying aloud sparing not we don't care about your feelings how bad it hurt you you know we're telling you the truth Lift up, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You need, a trumpet is a small, loud instrument. You know, finish it off. And show my people their transgression. Show my people their transgression. So we out here warning Israel, telling them to get right, telling them to repent of the things that, you know, they go off in the world. But the thing is, Jake, don't listen to us. Jake want to do what they're not supposed to. Jake don't want to put the lobster down, the pig down. Jake don't want to stop committing adultery, smoking weed, killing each other, fighting over a damn street corner that they don't own. Jake don't want to cut the dreadlocks off the head. All right? Jake want to do the things... That's not lawful. All right, go ahead. In the house of Jacob, their sins. In the house of Jacob, their sins. So the Lord has his prophets out on the streets telling 
our people, you blacks, Latinos, Native Indians, your transgressions, your sins, all right, telling you guys to repent, you know, um, and that's the whole job and duty of a prophet, all right, that's what they did in the before time, you know, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah is a good example, you know, he was prophesying that our people's going to go in captivity, you know, and they they threw his ass in prison. Put him in, put his head in the stocks. You know. So the prophets was always given that job, and they was always hated for it. You know, I remember I did a class on. Uh, you know how it was going off for this this Judite woman. She was putting makeup on her son putting makeup and lipstick on them I did a class rebuking it and this woman she got on there and, and said it's not my job or duty to speak on someone else's kid but I hit her with that precept and you know it took her forever to realize what it was talking about you know and lord and behold shortly after that class my whole account got taken down I believe she had uh, what's it called flat flag yeah yeah Cause I was like on my last leg. I believe she reported the video, but yeah, you know, and these women, <laughs> boy, they get cut by that. All right. So the scripture says, uh, "Cry aloud, spread not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show thy people thy transgressions. Show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. You know." show our people Israel their sins how they going off we'll go back to Amos 8 and 11 so starting with the starting with the starting with the elders and apostles on down you know this truth been going out for many many years you know now that we're at the end we're finna get Taken up off the streets, you know. The Lord's finna close our mouth. Cause right now it's the doors of grace. Soon it's gonna be judgment. Alright, go ahead and get Amos and eight. Behold, Amos eight and eleven. Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of a nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Hearing the words of the Lord. So this man, Esau, Edom, the guy that we are under captivity, you know, the guy that is on top, that's ruling, you know, which we know the Edomites are the so-called white people, starting with their elites. You know, what they're going to do is they're going to close down the internet. So you ain't going to be on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Google, you know, the whole internet is going to close. They're going to shut down the internet, all right? Because this is where this man is greatly getting exposed. You know, so, and you see that now. They shutting us up by what? Um, these new guidelines. You can't say certain words. We got to speak in code. We got... Brothers going to different platforms. So YouTube is already, they already doing that. Once the prophets get taken up off the streets, once the internet shut down, this word is not going to be going out. That's when the Lord is going to bring forth that judgment. All right. So, you know. And in that day of Jacob's trouble, we ain't going to be out here preaching to you people. We're going to be on a, on a move. We're going to be on a run. You know, because the prophets are going to be, what, the world's most hated men. <laughs> We're going to be getting demonized, all type of stuff, you know. So, Amos 8 and 11. He's going to send a famine to hear the words of the Lord. So, if you don't have this knowledge... 
yo, you're gonna be lost. Shit out of luck. All right. And the thing is, um, you know, people take this truth for granted. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So what is Jacob's trouble is when all hell break loose? A prime example is the movie Forever Purge. You know, which that movie was about Esau versus Jacob. So Esau versus the blacks, Latinos, Native Indians, the Israelites. You know, that's a good, good. Damn, that's a good prelude right there, a good visual. That's how it's going to be. Really, all the purges, but that purge fits perfect. You know, this man is going to allow chaos and destruction to happen upon this place. He created... He's creating this man-made famine as we witness. As he's paying farmers to burn down their goods, their crops. He's causing all these man-made fires. All right. Um. It was talks about it being an, another shutdown soon. Another lockdown, you know, he's going to have those curfews be reestablished. Because you got to think, once the famine hits, that's when everybody going to go crazy. Because what people like, people love food, especially our people. Mm -hmm. Like a Snicker commercial, you're not yourself when you're hungry, <laughs> you know. So once the storehouses are empty, you know, that's going to cause the riots chaos, the looting, invading one another, as it speaks in uh, Second Edges, spoiling each other for their goods. And once that happens, that's when the martial law is going to be implemented. Because people are going to be uprising against the government at that point. Mm -hmm. Then police ain't going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Police are going to be trying to save their own family. Yeah. So, once that happened, that's going to cause the martial law troops. And once the troops are out, that's going to cause curfews, <laughs> checkpoints. You know, checkpoints. You can't go to East. You can't. A man going to desire to go to the city and shall not be able. All right, let's get it. Um, so it's going to be a time none like it. And best believe. It's going to be a time where Esau comes down and start purging you Israelites as he shows you in the forever purge. Um, that scene when they was in that moving van and they said, we need to um, damn, kill all the foreigners. And they was talking about Jake. You know, Esau was, was saying, this is our land. We must get rid of all foreigners. You know, and you had people fleeing to Mexico. All right. And I think the brother I bought did a video on that about um, this Instacart was saying now they build in the wall to keep Americans out of Mexico when uh, yeah. Jacob's trouble happened. Exactly. Did you watch it? I, I, no, nah, but I've, I've been hearing about them building a, building a wall, though. And seen the video, but yeah, I heard about the one, them building the wall, which is kind of ironic because remember back when it was several years back when Trump was in office, that's what he was talking about doing. So they, you know, it's funny now that it's caused now they're finna start building the wall. So it, it means to me that's kind of funny, but yeah. <laughs> Shit, the wall built already. They just. Now the the wall is going to be used to keep Americans out of going into Mexico, mm -hmm. which was which is uh crazy because in the movie Forever Purge, the damn Americans was fleeing to Mexico. Yeah. Mexico was a safe spot. <laughs> you know, Esau was going crazy on Jake. It's a car. You know, he was he was getting um. Catching hell from, from Esau. You have the Judite man. And then the Gadite at the end. Alright, that's not coincidence. You know? Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna get um. Second Edge six and twenty two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. So imagine, you know, Walmart. Shoot, Walmart in 2016 ain't the same Walmart now. Mm -hmm. Walmart in 2016 was what? It was more lively, more food, more people in there. Yeah, all the registers. More cashiers. Yeah. More cashiers. <laughs> Ever since t late 2019, early 20, it's been more empty less less food it look it kind of look deserted almost yeah it does it very it really does i was in there last night and it's way different than how it was in the 2010s all right so you are really seeing a glimpse of that now they don't even have registers no more they have mm -hmm. self-checkout yeah no. they have I, I was in there. Matter of fact, I was in there last night. I think they had like two cashiers and the rest of them self checkouts. Man. So, they yeah. try and the funny part about it, <laughs> I don't know if you saw this, but in a post they were talking about a. I didn't know which store it was, but you know it may not even be here. But in one of those posts, they were saying that they were gonna uh, be. They're gonna get, bring their cashiers back, that because I guess people have been complaining about the self checkout. So, just show you, Esau is just a ball of confusion, man. He don't know what he want to do, you know. So, it is what it is. Yeah, you gotta freaking. If you're paying for fruit, you gotta weigh it, and then you gotta mm -hmm. wait for a cashier to come, put in a code, mm -hmm. especially buying alcohol. You gotta wait for them to come put in a code and they dealing with like like eight other people at the same time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you can imagine a lot of those people don't have the patience to deal with this so that's gonna make everything you know you know kind of make people more upset in return maybe the people that work there even upset because they you know because sometimes like I said that that um that emotion spreads and that other the person that's working there get emotional too so then yeah, you gotta start some confusion right there within itself so. these, these people out here don't don't uh they haven't mastered that ability of patience mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> they want they they want everything right then and there well i mean let's think about it we you know i don't know how to tell you but you know we you, you 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 see the situation a lot of times everything is a con you know they made this america such a convenience for everything i mean all you got to do is go through the drive through and get your food right or uh doordash Do it. Sit, <laughs> sit on your good. ass sit yeah. on your ass at home and someone yeah. bring yeah. your food to you yeah i mean i i saw that firsthand the other day i saw a neighbor and how they did it they knocked on his door didn't open the door and um all, all they did was take a picture of the food, let them know that, hey, the food's there, because the guy never opened the door. Took the picture, they put the food there, and then they left. So it's, it's real simple, man. Real simple, so, hey, it, you know, that that's, like I say, it just makes the, the people even more lazy, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially back then, you know, uh, our people used to hunt for their food. There you go. Uh, which is why they was in shape. Mm -hmm. They used to hunt. We talked about that yeah, uh, we got Thursday in the camp, so, yeah. Now everything is so much more convenient, so, you know, this, you know, this, this making everything, everything such a convenience, so, but, you know, this is, this is part of, um, you know, making the world easier on this side, more easier for the woman, because the man is used to going out and going and get, getting things anyway. All 
All right, second day to six and 22, and suddenly shall the stall places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. All right, so you, you see that now, you see storage closing. I saw a post about Wendy's supposed to be closing down all stores. Hmm? Yeah, you know? All right, whether it's true or not, but these these HEBs, you know, targets, everything, it's gonna be empty. All right, no food in it. No once the truckers stop delivering food to these stores, it, you know, you're just gonna have a big empty lot, and they're gonna turn these stores. Grocery stores, churches, how main highways, stadiums, th those are going to be the worst sp spots to be in during Jacob's Trouble because it's going to be used as FEMA camps mm -hmm. or, you know, main highways. That's where the martial arts troops are going to be. If you get captured by them, you're going to be thrown in a FEMA camp, all right? Mm -hmm. Got a glimpse of that a little bit um, back when we had those... Um, Please don't say no buzzwords. <laughs> it's gonna get the No, I um, saw a glimpse of that, you know, back in the two thousands with those floods. So we'll see. Yep. So that's you know, that that right there is gonna cause um hell. Mm -hmm. No. Saw a glimpse of that in two thousand twenty. Right big now. empty, big empty store. All the TV dinners gone. <laughs> Steaks gone. Every basically everything you need to survive was gone. The water, toilet paper. Oh my goodness. Um, toilet paper. The only thing that was there left was was soda, soda and you know stuff like that, mm. which is crazy because throughout the year that's all people buy, but <laughs> once. Jake feel like their life is in jeopardy. All the stuff that they need to get that's that's like valuable mm -hmm. is gone and stuff they don't need is still in the store. Mm -hmm. You 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 could turn on the on the aisle and see nothing but soda and cans, all that. But no water, no TV dinners, no steaks, all the pork was gone. Eggs, bacon, mm -hmm. uh Stuff like that, all that stuff was absolutely nowhere near. All right. All right, so, you know, the Lord purposely had that happen. Which, that was just Esau testing everything out for... What he gonna really, really do? Mm -hmm. So all of that was just a test, you know. And the Lord allowed it, and it made the best of brothers and broke the best of, you know, the best of people, you know. So this is Second Edges fifteen and sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men. Um. Let's see if I can get that word. Sedition. Conduct or speech incite, incite, uh, inciting people to rebel against authority of a state or monarch. All right. As you saw during the George Floyd pro protest, you had agent provocateurs, you had Edomites enticing Jake to throw bricks, steal, loot, bring chaos. All right, make our people look bad on the news. All right, that's going to happen again, but is Jay going to be for real this time? And it's going to be behind, you know, the famines, being laid off their jobs, you know, because these jobs, people are going to be getting fired, clipped, you know, I think back then Amazon had fired hella workers too.
You know, people won't be getting fired. Um, uh, you know, a lot of stuff is gonna be going on. Jay gonna be fed up. You ain't got no money. The stores ain't got no food. How are you gonna feed your family? So that's gonna cause people to get angry. And they're gonna be rebelling against authority, police. And then that day, you know, you're going to have the police looking out for their family. Because they're going to be out of business themselves. All right. So that that's the point of the matter. For their shall, uh, second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Home invasions. You people who's who uh, go in these stores and buy all these damn food, three carts worth of food filled to the top. You had them people who had their whole carts stored up with toilet paper and water. You know, them guys going to be a target. Mm -hmm. By who? They're talking to you. By who? To me. By who? Oh, by other men, especially Jay. Because if there's no food, they, they're going to break in other people's houses, man. Pacific. Simple. Pacific. Hmm. Pacific. Who knows your work schedule? Who's oh, around your neighbors, you? Your neighbors. Exactly. Like um, the brother from GMS, oh, I forgot what camp it was, but he said he went into how his neighbor know his every day, his, his, his schedule, you know? Mm -hmm. He know when he gonna go to work. He know uh, when he get off of work. He he know when he at home, when he not. Um, what time he do this and that. He said his neighbor literally was always watching him. You know, like the song, I always feel mm -hmm. like somebody's watching me. Yeah, you know. Any if anybody know your schedule more than you is your, well, as well as you. It's your damn neighbors because they are literally next door to you. Yeah. So your neighbors is going to be your um, your worst enemy in that day. Mm -hmm. Your neighbor's going to be the person running down your door with a, a gun to your head trying to take all your um, your food, your resources. Mm -hmm. You know? And bringing that up. Your neighbors, they, the ones, they know how your woman look. They probably got Evil, uh, evil eye toward you already. You know? They might try to, you know, get with your woman in that day. Alright? So your em your enemy is going to be those that's, that's the closest to you. Alright? They shall not regard their kings nor princes. So law people are not gonna they are not gonna regard the laws no they're not gonna care and the course of their actions shall stand in their, their power all right So in verse 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's going into the checkpoints. All right. You ain't going to be going here and there unless you have this, you know. Um, get a man's foes. I get a man's foes. Matthew 10 and 36, a man's foe shall be they of his own household. So the ones closer to you, they, you know, your damn cousin that you've known since you was a child, your best friend, your father and mother, they're going to be your worst enemy in that day, you know, especially if you're in this truth. Whether you be a man or, you know, a sincere woman, 
you know, your close relatives is, is going to be that your worst enemy. All right. So the Lord is going to have all these things come upon this earth. And that's going to be the time of judgment. It's going to be a mass death and chaos. And Esau, that's when, you know, you're going to have uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Esau coming down with great wrath. He's going to be killing a lot of Jake because he know he's losing his power. He's going to be like a madman sparing none. A lot of Israelites are going to die in that time in this ultimate judgment of the Lord. You know, uh, you can get that Isaiah 13. Mm -mm -mm. Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So, the only man that's going to be shining in that day is a man of the Lord. Why? Um, Isaiah 33 and 6. Hit it, hit it. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So wisdom, knowledge, that wisdom, knowledge, understanding is going to be the strength of thy times. That's what's going to keep us stable and separate from the other men. Because the other men, first and foremost, they're not prepared or they're not preparing themselves now mentally, physically, and spiritually for those troubling times. Jake mind is focusing on popping women, whatever, living living their best life, smoking weed, chilling. But what is Jake doing now? They they f gather together under family Thanksgiving. You know. So Jake mind is wrapped in the world. Or they got the head of a woman ass, children, or they thinking about. It's just doing fleshly, worldly stuff. You know, they're not preparing, oh, I might have to lose my father and mother right in front of me. Or uh, I might go a few days without eating. I'm going to get demonized by the world. You know, I might have to die for the Lord. No, Jake not meditating on those things. So they're not even going to be prepared. So in that day, like Scripture says, uh, how I get it. Second Exodus 15 and 18. For because of pride, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. So since, you know, these people, they are not, their mind is not on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, you got Jake out here pride, prideful, boasting in their guns and bullets. You got Esau, obviously Esau pride. Esau is proud. You know, you got Jake being proud. You know, uh, like we always mention, these women love the ex-cons, the pookies and Ray Ray thugs. They see them as masculine and tough because they are overly emotional. They lash out over every little thing. You know, they try to shoot you for looking at them in the eye. You know, but your true masculine man is the exact opposite. Is to be able to um, control your feelings and emotions. Um, basically, being stoic is um, 
not showing your your feelings and emotions you remaining st in a stable condition like say you catching hell whatever you you uh got fired for whatever reason or your woman commit a doshi on you or whatever your car breaking down you catching hell you're not you keeping that stable condition without complaining or um getting emotional you know not being a robot but you keeping that that masculine frame you're not out here crying um lashing out so second that's 15 and 18 it says the men shall be afraid so that's the difference between these average men out here and the men of the lord these average men don't have this wisdom knowledge understanding so this is going to hit them by surprise and they're not used to it like it's saying jeremiah 30 16 it's going to be a day like none you know a great day none like it i got two scriptures i want to bring out so these guys they're gonna be crying no go ahead it's in uh ecclesiasticus sarat known as sarat and uh it's in uh, chapter 20 verse 6 and 7 some man holds his tongue because he have not not to answer and some keepeth silence knowing his time a wise man will hold his tongue till he see an opportunity Ooh, see a wise man hold his tongue till he sees the opportunity you know but the most dangerous man is a man who's able to control all his emotions because he got time to think about what he's going to do. Why do you think so many um, of these, these Israelites, you know, mainly Judah, are locked up in prison because they can't control their emotions? Being mm -hmm. being um, raised up by their mothers because they learn that emotional trait from their, their mothers, sisters, aunts. Being around all these women, mm -hmm. you know... They get a gun, they fucking lash out over someone saying what's up to you on the side of the street or looking at you. you no, know, and these, these bird brain women, they think that's masculine. A nigga just lashing out over every damn thing. Um, playing a tough guy role. What is it? The roughest, 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 the toughest, toughest, you know, big, bad, King Von, serial killer, just whatever, just out shooting niggas, killing niggas. All right. Like that guy you seen, he talk, uh, I remember a while back on camp, he was talking about a guy that an older guy spoke to a young guy and said, you know, hey, what's up, or something like that. And the guy pulled a gun on him. The young dude pulled a gun on him, so. You know, you can't, you know, it shows you how stupid that is, you know. That's not wise, you know, at all. All right. Uh, yeah, get the rest of that. But a babbler and a fool will regard no time. A babbler, a nigga running their mouth. Like this guy I used to work with, he always fucking just, just talk. He just like to talk. He always talk about how he would shoot somebody and all that. 
in a in a woman brain that that's seen as fucking um sexy or, or super masculine and mm-hmm. tough. Mm-hmm. You know the nigga just lashing out, carrying the gun, lashing out over stuff that 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 not even important. You know? Nigga, he always run his mouth, just talk, talking real loud, want everybody mm-hmm. to hear him. Mm-hmm. Jake is so damn simple. They they see that as as whatever cool or whatever. But a reasonable man that's thinking before he do stuff, you know, you seen that scary, lame, what a weak. Yeah. You know. Slow. <laughs> uh, read that back. Okay. So Rock, chapter 20, verse 6 and 7. Some men hold his tongue because he have not to answer. And some keep it silence knowing his time. A wise man... It's a time and place for everything. Mm-hmm. All right? Verse 7. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity. But a babbler and a fool will regard no time. So a wise man hold his tongue till he sees the right opportunity though to speak. But a babbler is going to be running, just running his mouth, talking all loud, want to be seen by folks. Because mm-hmm. he's, he's a fool. Mm-hmm. And the scriptures clearly tell you in Ecclesiastes, in Ecclesiastes that there's a time for everything under the sun. So there's times to talk and then there's a time to to listen you know or or you know if there's nothing to talk about just you know just got to know the time when to say things and then like i say you know they got a saying about what you put out into into the world so we got to be mindful of what we say you know how we speak and and who wrote ecclesiastes solomon the wisest man Mm -hmm. that lived Ecclesiasticus is wrote by Sirach. All right. So, <laughs> which I appreciate you telling me about that because <laughs> I appreciate that. So, so uh, you know, um, it is spelled different. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. People ask me why I'm so quiet and all that. They, they, you know, they want you to just be up doing saying stupid stuff and being a goofy and clown and all that like you you sit to yourself <laughs> you can sit to yourself and just observe and people look at you like you're a damn serial killer a weirdo because you're not out being like the average jake just doing just dumb just being stupid yeah. you know a, a trait that these niggas have in the world your pokies and thugs or whatever, they don't know how to control their emotions. Known for being outspoken. They're they're not masculine. They're really a feminine. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, that, that's a feminine trait right out the muscle. You know, because um, which there's nothing wrong being outspoken, but you just no, it's just not, being a wrong clown, with that, but. It's what you're saying, you know. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, these people don't have much to talk about, so why engage in the conversation, you know? <laughs> what are they going to talk about? What is the average Jake talking about? Weed. Weed, um, you know. Uh, Dreadhead niggas, weed. You know, what else? Things that, that just, you know. 2K. That's all the yeah. niggas do, sit on their ass, smoke weed, and play 2K. Mm-hmm. There's more than life. There's stuff we need to do than sitting down on the ass house smoking up smelling like 2K. Yeah. And that's who, you know, these women flock to.
all right? Jeremiah 30 and 6, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. So it's going to get so bad out here. These men that's not in this truth, they're going to be travailing as a woman with child. You see a woman in, in uh, labor, giving birth pains, what is she doing? She's calling. She's, you know, she's in very much pain. She's very emotional. Cussing, veins mm -hmm. popping out their neck mm -hmm. and head, screaming, mm -hmm. face red, you know. Now you think about that dude that you was just talking about a few minutes ago. One's talking about the guns and all that kind of stuff. Imagine how he's going to be when that time jumps off, you know. And that nigga, he guys in that mindset. He a heavy set dude. He like, like, fat with a, with a big ass beard. Mm -hmm. You know, that's gonna look bad. That's gonna look bad. <laughs> and these big brawly looking dudes, they gonna be crying. Mm -hmm. Um, your uh, you know, emotional thugs that's terrorizing the the neighborhood mm -hmm. with his with his damn guns. He's gonna be fucking crying. Guys, that's that's known for you know doing you know basically doing violent acts. You know, um, have a violent spirit on them. You know, yeah, a lot of them they're gonna be be you know those or what they call them bullies. They call them bullies or what have you. But G Herbo. <laughs> yeah. So you know, guys like in that that mindset, man. They you know those are gonna be the ones. That, they gonna be hollering louder than a woman, you know. <laughs> James louder than James Brown. There you go. <laughs> All <Yeah>. right. <laughs> Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? You know these people gonna be scared as hell. You know, mm -hmm. they see their mama. The, the woman that they worship over the oh lord my goodness. Yeah. they see their mama get her brain get yeah. her brains blowed out or mm -hmm. get killed you know that's gonna be the end for jake or raped or what have you you know and that's jake life right yeah. there that mama yeah you know they ain't even talk about daddy they 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 also in love jake with don't got the damn daddy for one no. <laughs> Which, you know, mama, that, that mama done ran them out of there, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> that JC, they mama get killed. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, that's going to be the raps right yeah. there. You know, with a wife or daughter that you put before the camp and the truth, always leaving the, the uh, fellowship and camp early to see your damn woman and child. Mm-hmm. Let the ass get get um whatever killed. It's gonna be raps. Yeah, I mean, you know, um. <laughs> we had a guy like that he used to labor with us. He do man. Let me ask you something. Did he do that every time, bro? Damn near. I heard. Wow. I mean, I know sometimes the circumstances do <laughs> do occur. I right? you know, but. Dang, you know, I mean, every time. My wife and my daughter. Then when he got booted out, now he wanted to come to camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you're there with your wife and daughter, daughter or whatever. Yeah. Now, now, time you want, now. Yeah, now you want to come to camp all of a sudden. <laughs> but when you was at the camp, you wanted to go with your damn wife and daughter. Mm -hmm. Like scripture says, he that loveth father, mother, um, son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to seek Yahweh Shai first and foremost. But, you know, Jake, he wasn't sincere anyway. Yeah. He was too busy trying to get off of brother pockets, trying to scam brothers. Mm -hmm. All right. So ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Do a man travail with child? Do a man have freaking birth pains? Do men go in labor? Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Obviously not. 
Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? These men are going to be crying. Very tears. Mm -hmm. As a woman that's going through labor pains. That's the difference between these average men that in, the, in that day of Jacob's trouble and the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. No matter how you look, your stature, voice, mm -hmm. weight. If you're a man of the Lord, you're going to have that stable frame. That's, that's where Isaiah 33 and 6 come in at, you know. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of my times. Wisdom and knowledge, because we know the end game. Yeah. We know, we already know. It's like yeah. seeing a, it's like me and you sitting right here. And we we looking out the window and see a nigga trying to break in the house. And the mm -hmm. lights on, we looking right at his ass. Mm -hmm. And we, we just looking at him, mm -hmm. breaking into the house. And then he get his foot inside, and he he look up and he see us looking at him. Yeah, yeah. Versus you being in the bed sleep mm -hmm. and not knowing what's going on, and someone breaking in your house, mm -hmm. it's gonna take you by surprise. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's gonna happen to a lot of these guys out here. You know, who 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 are blinded. You know, and, and who had a chance to. That's gonna hurt the most. Truth. And that's what's going to hurt a lot of guys, like, especially a guy like him, who was in the camp. You know, <laughs> he knew. He knew all this truth. You know what I'm saying? You know? And then, to, you know, like you say, you said a mouthful just then. It's going to be even gonna be even worse for somebody like him, you know? So. Who put, you know, his wife and daughter before Yahweh Shai? Yeah. And scamming brothers, man. You know, scamming brothers out of money all the time. Just, you know, I mean, you know, I understand sometimes, you, you know, it's good to have brothers to, to fall back on if you can. But at the same time, I mean, it's a, it's a balance to everything. You, you get to a point, you see a guy like that in the in the camp, it's like, man, you don't even want to see him because you think he's going to hit you up for his pocket. You know, juicy, you know, juicy for your money every time, man. You don't, you don't, you don't want to see that guy, man. It's like you... Yeah, and, 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 you know, even being out when you wasn't even in this truth of knowledge, you used to probably thought, like, oh, man, go this dude here. You know he's going to try to ask me for something, you know. Hey, little dude from across the street, let me hold a dollar. See? <laughs> Chris and dropped the board his ass. Yeah. Here you go again. Little dude from across the street. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, you know, so that, that that's, you know, and that's frustrating, brother. You know, it's like you don't want to be around that, that man. Because you know what the end game is. He's going to try to hit you for, for some money. It's like, man, come on. So, and nah, he wouldn't man, even... you, you don't want to be that guy, man. You don't want to be that kind of a guy. I mean, I understand sometimes it be situations. And I, I know personally, you know, dealing with this brother right here, Taz. And I told him, hey, look, man, my money ain't right tonight. You know, I got you, you know. But in turn, you know, just, just saying, just using an example, I made sure I paid that brother back and I asked him you know was he satisfied with what I gave him you know what I'm saying if not I would have gave him more just to make sure to keep the peace between my brother so he won't feel like I'm I'm bumming him you know what I'm saying so I mean you know sometimes because that's how a lot of men do you know and that's not being a brother man you gotta look out for just like he looked out for me you gotta I gotta look out for him that's that's what brothers do you know yeah now he not even doing videos no more. Mm. He's like, Was, had he ever did any videos since he left the camp? I didn't think he had did any videos since he left the camp. Nope. So, just show you, you know, you know, the Lord, Lord takes out who he got to take out, man. So, you know, uh, you know, guys like that, that's going to hit the worst. If they knew this truth, mm -hmm. they're going to be like, dang. Yeah. You know you messed up. Yeah. And you can't, like... Nothing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that that, bit, that made me think of that movie, Minister Society, where Bill Duke was telling to uh, Kane. <laughs> he said, "You know you have up, don't you? You know you have up." <laughs> 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 so I mean, you know, it's kind of what made me think of that. But yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you ain't nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. You had brothers. All you was doing was robbing and scamming them. Mm -hmm. and now everything that you was taught. And was teaching once, it's coming to pass in fruition. Yeah. Now you sitting on your ass, 
crying. I don't know what he do. I don't know what he's gonna be doing. And every <laughs> second, things have gotten worse. So you think since he got kicked out the camp this year, things have gotten a lot worse since then, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to just imagine, you know. And like I say, we're gonna go into Lord well, willing, we're about to go into 2024. So. Who knows what's going to happen? Gonna, it's going to be even worse. They talking about Trump might get back in office. Yeah, if they don't suspend the, the elections, but that's another story. But, yeah, and, you know, we're his brothers. Most of us, we pray that he do get back in there. Hell you know? yeah. Yeah, we pray that he do get back in there. Trump is But not busy. for the reason that these, Trump is these, busy though. these other people out here, for we see a bigger thing in that. So, hey. He was caused a lot of war. He, talked, he killed. He ordered a hit on General Samani, mm -hmm. the damn Iranian, mm -hmm. the Elon Mike. Mm -hmm. And he was getting busy though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. So yeah, we 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 look, we we hope he do get in. So you know, Lord willing, the Lord will. That's the Elon uh brothers like Trump. He yeah. pushing. He get when he get in the office, them prophecies start flying. Yeah. Biden, I don't know yeah. what the hell. Is. That's not the guy. <laughs> but either way you know what I'm saying the prophecy is going to happen whether Trump's in or, or, or the prophecy, yeah. Biden's in whatever but we don't care. We, care we care that he we hope that he get in there but we don't care because all we care about is the prophecies you know what I'm saying you know so Lord willing that's what we looking forward to so uh, Jeremiah 36 Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins As a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness And number one, one of the most One of the things that, that turn a woman off that a woman hates Is a man crying mm -hmm. Just like we see a woman committing adultery And it's like the worst thing But yeah, same thing with a woman. A woman seeing a man cry, that's one of the worst things, you know? Because, um, first and foremost, it turns them off because, like, they see you as weak. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't no longer protect them because you're mm -hmm. you supposed to be your masculine frame, but you cry. If you cry, don't cry in front of your woman. Yeah, exactly. Try to avoid your mom, your sisters, all that. Mm -hmm. You cry in front of your woman. That's that's kind of like her seeing you get knocked out by another dude, yeah. which is even worse. Yeah. You know, when she see that, she probably finna jump ship. But like, yeah, never cry in front of your woman. No matter how much they try to tell you to open up, don't do it. Mm -hmm. But these men, when all this chaos happened, they're going to be... When they see their family, their loved ones die, they're going to be on the ground crying, snot rolling all down their lips, mm -hmm. beard, mm -hmm. tears. Uh, King Von, young boy, Pop Smoke, Kodak, black ass dudes, you know, they're going to be crying or, or dead, getting killed. Mm -hmm. So these women, they're they going to see for themselves how so called masculine they are, you know. Yeah. And then they ask finna start jumping ship to who? The man of the Lord. And we not men of the Lord just not gonna Lord willing with those men, they not just gonna get taken with open arms. A lot most no, of them gonna get rejected. No, no. Cause they don't you know, they just fake and phony. No. They just don't got no other option. No, either that man gonna get drafted to the war, mm -hmm. World War Three, or they're gonna be getting killed in the streets. Yeah. And they have been putting up posts now about that i think it's like 18 to 26 and you know what i seen on my instagram that i don't care that that one instagram woman she had put well she had made a post talking about this guy i guess he went in her dm and he was like um uh, you need to get a man the lord before jacob's trouble he said he had put something like that and then she had put in a little caption Accepting applications. What she she's accepting applications? Yeah. The nerve! But that just shows you how prideful, prideful these damn women, women are. And proud. Cause first of all, you need a man of the Lord to live. Exactly. 
not the other way around. And I mean, he can give an example. Look at Rebecca. Rebecca came to Isaiah. Isaiah didn't go to Rebecca, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, you know, and, and um, let me say here, I'm gonna, I got a scripture here in Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water and a dry place as the shadow of great of a great rock in a weary land. It's not talking about King Von. <laughs> King Von, not King, what's his name? Young boy, NBA young boy with mm. these, these niggas, these women love so much. And money back, yo, they ain't gonna be that man that's a hiding place from the wind. You know, it's it's specifically talking about a specific type of guy, a man, a man of the Lord. Like like uh the movie Denzel Washington, you know? A man we're gonna become Lord willing without us men, we're gonna become so precious. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be like a hiding place from the wind water in a dry weary place water you in a in the hot 110 degree desert yeah and you find some water you know how glad you're gonna be yeah think about a place like death valley california <laughs> you know and they see you know the same thing like that man you you see that you know a man would be like a you know like water you know what i'm saying just like that's what they're gonna gravitate to that man right off the muscle you know but at the same time, it ain't gonna be easy. It ain't gonna be easy. Cause the Lord gonna put the spirit on you to know which ones, you know, is right. Ones. Exactly. That's who we picking. Which ones is right? Not who's bad and whatever. Cause mm -hmm. these women are gonna be mm -hmm. full of shit still. Mm -hmm. They just gonna want their ass protected. Exactly. Cause at the we gotta understand a woman that her first mind is survival. She's a survivalist. I'm a survivor. <laughs> like a woman wants the best. Exactly. In her eyes, and right now, in her eyes, the best are, you know, the athletes Pookie or Henry. the damn emotional simp thugs. Mm -hmm. Those are, in her eye, the best. <laughs> so, some guys in the truth got it good. Some guys in the truth get women, but everybody mm -hmm. different. Yeah. No, a woman not checking for these women not checking for men of the Lord. No. No. You know, men of the Lord they getting overlooked. Yeah. You know. They call us superheroes, Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. uh, we 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 wearing curtains, all that, yeah. capes. You and know. Then, yeah, and then you know the Lord put the spirit on those men, on some men, like um, the Apostle Paul. He he didn't have no, he didn't have a woman. So, you know, he wasn't dealing with a woman. He put the ministry first. So, I'll let it come. You know. So. That's, that's something else to keep in mind too I mean but that's part of, of the body you know some men some brothers have women and some brothers don't, don't. <laughs> some brothers limited on women yeah, some brothers yeah. do but it's some, limited yeah. some, some, some brothers want women you know and, and right now you know is, you know they, they're not able to get them because they're, they're, these women are not attracted you know not attracted to a man to go out and preach this word but that's okay you know because things are going to reverse in a blink of an eye it's just a matter of time will happen trust and believe <laughs> what that song say don't believe and just watch we're no more so, yeah <laughs> ah. i thought that was true today but go ahead yeah you might be right yeah you're right you're right oh yeah he said that too we're that's where he got it from believe. Okay. Yeah, he Bruno got it. said it too. Yeah, okay. uh, Trinidad sampled it. He got it from Bruno. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I thought about you. Wait, wait, hold okay. up. Someone yeah. samples. Hold up. You didn't got me. Gold on my. Yeah, you know what I'm talking. About. Gold over everything. Nah, nah, nah. Bruno Mars sampled Trinidad. Oh, okay. Because he he said the cat phrase, "Don't believe me, just watch." And then Bruno Mars with that song, "Don't believe me, just watch." Oh, okay. So That's what happened. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Trinidad. He get paid every time that song plays. Yeah. But yeah, like Trinidad says, don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got it, man. 
You like Elder yeah. Kazak from Mississippi. Hey. You be quoting songs. Yeah. Don't hey. believe me, just watch. Hey, yeah. You know, music person, so I didn't. I I've heard a lot of music, so yeah, we <laughs> it came to mind. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh. But yeah, when that time comes, brothers are gonna be real particular about these women, you know what I'm saying? So, but like I say, the Lord, it's a blessing too, because the Lord's gonna put the spirit on you to know who, who's Damn. in the right in the mind, who's of right mind, and who's not. So that's the beautiful thing about it when, I, when you know, Isaiah 4 and 1 come, come into play. Like the like scripture says in Isaiah, what, 34 and 12? Isaiah 34 and 12, you say? 13 and 12. 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of old beer. Which goes hand in hand with the scripture you just read. Get that again. Okay. Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Whew. A shadow of a great rock in a, in a weary land. You know? So... That's how that's how high the Lord's gonna raise his men up. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Alright, so um uh, you know it's like it's like having that golden ticket, but you just waiting on it. Mm -hmm. Like King David, King here it is, Saul had all this glory, power. He was the king. People following him. He had women. The whole time the Lord was dealing with King David. Mm -hmm. I remember your call telling me that. A shepherd boy. Behind the scenes, the Lord was dealing with King David. Yeah, yeah. But in the front, you know, King, uh, king Saul, he was out there mm -hmm. in the eye. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord took that spirit from him. Mm -hmm. You know how crazy that is? The whole time the Lord was dealing with the lowly meek yeah. King David shorter he was he was bright in his uh, complexion mm -hmm. like a light brown color mm -hmm. yeah, so young he, probably, he so. was young a shepherd boy he was cleaning up sheep uh, lamb shit you know yeah. taking care of lambs King David had no Everybody wasn't uh, talking about King David. Mm -hmm. King David was overlooked. You got his brothers, big, brawly, yeah, dark skin, yeah, yeah. skin shining. <laughs> With skin shining. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Samuel, Samuel thought it was one of those those men at first. You know, he thought he was one of uh, uh, David's older brothers. They come to find out it wasn't, you know? But, you know, David had a meek, humble spirit on him, you know? And the Lord loved that about him. And that's why he dealt with David, you know? No. So it's all the, you know, it's always the least expected. Mm hmm You know? So a lot of times in the men in the walk, a lot of times their life has been like that, you know? They've, they've been kind of the guy that's kind of under the radar, a lot of the one that the the women was weren't seeking out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wasn't necessary the ladies' first choice or the ladies' man would <laughs> have you. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, a lot of times it, it's a lowly, humble, quiet one. You know, let's go get busy. Yeah, yeah Lord willing, we get that spiritual power too. Yeah. You know, all that will come with that, Lord willing, all that will come with it, you know. So, well, we, we hope to be of those, you know, that ilk. 
this is this is the other reason why we go out and do what we do, you know. And it's gotten to the point it's it's a part of us. You know, we we don't even feel right if we don't do this, you know. For real. <laughs> For real. For real. We don't feel right if we don't do this, man. Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Mm. All right. Same woman that mocked us, overlooked us, talked, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think about some of them women that you probably had talked, tried to talk to back in the day and they, you know, kind of had that. Look at you like you a big clunk of shit on the ground. Yeah, exactly. Frown their faces up. Yeah. Them be the same ones. Don't be surprised. Them, some of them same ones be the ones be in your face. Out of nowhere, time. like what we the hell? Where did yeah, that come, come from? Why are you even talking to me? Yeah, <laughs> you didn't even want to have two words for me. Now you want to come run up now? Why? Yeah. So. <laughs> Why? So you know, like I said, give her that Heisman Trophy treatment. Yeah. That stiff so you arm. got your and one of the brothers. I forgot what brother was saying. We may have to have a staff just to keep these women away. You know. They had to hit a few of them, like, get the hell away from me, <laughs> no. Or, or like the, the brothers always bring it out, a lot of times you see it in the certain videos of men running, you know, running from them women, you know what I'm saying? Because they ain't right, man. They ain't right in the spirit, so, you know, never know, man. You don't know, you know how the Lord gonna set it up, but you know it's gonna happen, put it like that. Like, um, the GMS Ancient Wine, um, he was going into how he was talking to the, one of his, his close acquaintances mm -hmm. and he was trying to give him this truth and he, basically he was rejecting it and then the guy he, he was you no know, big brawly tall in stature and whatever good looking guy and he said one of his brothers in the camp said he's winning on this side and he mm -hmm. don't believe that a guy that's winning on this side deserves to win in the kingdom well, it's that scripture was saying that right now they're getting that reward right now so no you could tell he was living his life you know mm -hmm. probably getting all the women mm -hmm. got a good car mm -hmm. good paying good job, job. Yeah. yeah and he's he, he said that in the video a guy that's I think over him mm -hmm. told him in the camp that he ain't gonna get the truth cause he's winning he's yeah. not focused on yeah. his truth a guy that's winning on his side don't deserve to win in the kingdom mm -hmm. Yeah, and then like I say, they're so consumed in that lifestyle that they're not going to, you know, make that, you know, make that, that, you know, make that change. You know, why you think the scriptures say that it's, it's hard for a, a rich man to get into enter the kingdom? Mm-hmm. You know, that's where that scripture come in at. Because like I say, like, you know, a person who's rich, it's hard for them to give up that lifestyle, you know? Yeah, a perfect example with Yahweh Shah, so. <laughs> he, said, he said, if you want if you want to follow me, uh, give all your rich to the poor, I believe. Mm -hmm. and, and come follow me. And his ass turned around and walked out. Yeah, he, he, he was very grieved by that. You know, he, he went up and told Yahweh Shah all this, this great things that he had done. You know, he hadn't sinned and this, this, that, and the other. And, you know, so, you know. Give all your things up and follow me. And he was greatly grieved by it. So this shows you, you know, men like that, they're getting their reward right now. So a lot of them, those guys, which like I say, there's nothing wrong with having money. I'm not saying it is because you got some brothers more well off than others, but they putting this truth first. You see what I'm saying? So Yeah, there's nothing wrong with having dealing yeah, with multiple so, women, yeah, you know? Nothing wrong with that. As long as you putting this truth first you you pushing your best foot forward you got a good car good house nothing yeah, wrong with that yeah. but as long as you this truth coming first this 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 first go ahead bro. as long as this truth coming first you're not all you know caught up in your worldly life and you know you're good yeah yeah because because if you gotta look at the lord can provide you for those things you know what i'm saying so you know as long as you putting that truth first the scriptures say seek the kingdom first. What is that? Matthew 6 and 33. And all those other things will be added to you. So, 
you know, something to think about. All right, so this is Micah, 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy. These women are our enemy. Mm -hmm. You know, they're mm -hmm. not with us. They're mm -hmm. against us. And women have the nerves to say accepting applications. Like a man of the Lord is supposed to come to her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I say, that, that's the proudness and the pridefulness of these women, man. But, you know, like I say, you got Isaiah 3, 16 through 26. Get that and hold it. <laughs> All right. Okay. And shame shall cover her. So she's going to be ashamed in that day. Mm -hmm. You know, all the men that they used and, and manipulated for the guy that didn't really care shit about him. Mm -hmm. once, once them guys are dead and, the, you know, the simps are dead. They're gonna try to come to a man of the Lord, they're gonna get rejected. Mm -hmm. Wish that unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? I thought you said this was gonna happen. Why it ain't happening? Mm -hmm. Basically mocking us. Mm -hmm. My eyes shall behold her, so we're gonna look at her. Now shall she be trotted down as the mire of the streets. These women are gonna be brought down so low to the as as dirt, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright. Um. This is first Timothy two and fifteen. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. So a woman needs the only way a woman gonna be saved is by um, getting with that man of the Lord, mm -hmm. and that's the Isaiah 4 and 1. You know, we get Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay. okay, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. What man? A man of the Lord, because a man is going to be stable in that day. So, several women, which is a completion, a number. You know, it could be more than seven or less. Mm -hmm. Who knows? They're going to take hold of one man. And, you know, they're going to be one in protection. Go ahead. Saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. We'll worry about getting our own food and getting our own clothes. Go ahead. Only let us be called by thy name and take away our report. Preach. Only let us be called by thy name and take away thy reproach. Only a, only way a, a woman can be called by thy name is through childbearing. You know, having sex with that man. So they're going to be taken as wives. First Timothy 2 and 15. Um, notwithstanding, she shall be ch saved in childbearing if they continue in the faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. You know, you brothers who got wives in this truth, you're gonna, the Lord going to bless you with more women than Isaiah 4 1. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but right now, you know, these women, they're all out of order, man. I mean, you know, they, you know, a lot of them, uh, <laughs> a lot of them have a, 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 manly, a manly like presence about them, you know? So, Those roles are gonna be reversed, man. You know, because in this kingdom or this queendom that we live in, you get the Isaiah three. Okay. So, and majority of women will get rejected anyway. Yeah. You know, as it said in uh, Micah, they're gonna be trotted down. They're gonna be brought low. So all that feminism power, you know, that they have, the Lord is gonna take it from them. Mm -hmm. That pride, the Lord is gonna take it from them. You can go ahead and we'll close out there. Okay. Um, Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, the Lord saith, because of the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with a stretch forth neck. Haughty. They walk with their necks up in the air. That they better than you. Mm -hmm. And wanton eyes. Wanton eyes. Looking, lusting after every man. Long eyelashes. Walking and mincing, 
as they go, making tinkling with their feet. You know, walking, twisting their ass all up in the air. Like that like that Judite woman we saw at um uh Texas Row House who shoes with that old half dead looking yeah, eat yeah, them yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. perfect example. She walking, mm -hmm. twisting her ass in the air, twisting her neck all around, Very, smiling. Yeah. Cause very, she didn't finesse some money. Yeah. No, that's all she wanted very, for. Very proud and very haughty, bro. Very. That's gonna be the same woman getting trotted down like the mire of the streets. All right. Exactly. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord did that already. They mm -hmm. already bald. Mm -hmm. But they still proud. Yeah. You got a woman with one leg. That's. Two feet tall, still proud. No arms, still mm -hmm. proud. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a whole society, a kingdom to crumble yeah, yeah. For just for them to get humble. Well, uh, tell me about that, that, that video you saw that, that, that uh, what was it? She was a, a Eve that was dancing or something. She didn't have no. She didn't have a leg. She had one leg and she was on the ground twerking. <laughs> I think she had no <laughs> legs and she was on the ground twerking. You got these little dwarf Eves, you know, that's like mm -hmm. two feet tall, still mm -hmm. proud. Yeah. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Everything is going to be brought out. And in that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their, their tinkling ornament, ornaments about their feet and their calls. And they're round tires like the moon. <laughs> the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. All these little bracelets and necklaces they be wearing. Yeah. You know the little cheap nose, ass nose rings. Nose ring, the little cheap ass uh, sprays they be in that clear bottle they be spraying on. Okay. To make that fruity smell. Mm -hmm. That that's gonna be taken away. Mm-hmm. Best believe, Jacob Shrub, you ain't going to have your hygiene products either. No. No. I'll, and, and yeah. So, <laughs> they going to be <laughs> smelling because, you know, a lot of them like, ain't bathed. We, you know. So, yeah. The bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. The rings and nose jewels. The changeable suits of apparel and the mantles. They ain't going to be changing clothes. Mm -mm. They ain't going to have no bonnets. And the wimples and the crisping pins. The glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and, their, and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell. Stink. There shall be stink. <laughs> And instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of a well set hair, baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. So they men are going to be dead in these wars. Mm -hmm. World War Three. Yeah, they already talking about the draft, so yeah, it's just a matter of time. And her gates shall lament and mourn and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground yeah so she will be on the ground desolate and desperate <laughs> pick me please yeah pick yeah, me. yeah no comment had got light too uh, yeah, you know, that's why reading is terrible. Oh, yeah. But yeah, these people are going to be greatly humble. I mean, these women are going to be greatly humble. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to be proud no more. They're going to take all that from them. Yeah. You know? So that's what's to come. Uh, you got any more precepts? So, you men, men of the Lord are the prize, not these women. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Just because all they all these women have is uh fat ass and titties, bro. Like men in general are the prize. We the ones who, who built this place up. Yeah. No. Especially Jake, because Jake basically through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah created the, the 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 spirit of him to create a lot of these things, invent these inventions. Of mm -hmm. course we know that you know, Esau being in the ruler of this kingdom, he's taken it over and said he did it. But we know behind the scenes that, that Lord put the spirit on Jake to do that, you know. But all that will be revealed, though. You know, and let alone they, they used up. I mean, they've been with multiple partners. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing special about them. No. Why do you think the Bible says that, that there'll be, uh, what do think, like adulterous women like ravenous dogs or something like that? Yeah. If, if someone that had you multiple times, different people, how is that something special? Mm -hmm. And they, a lot of these women are in that spirit right now when they're with men and they're still thinking about another man they can be with you know a celebrity yeah same thing another always man always in that spirit i can do better i can do better i got him but i can do better you know but that's gonna all go away once jacob's trouble goes their mindset's gonna be changed too so you know but you say just it's just a matter of time for it to happen you know, it's just a matter of time. All right. So, uh, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, the Lord dealing with his men, men of the Lord. Lord willing, this was the edifying video. Going to close out, giving all praises, honor, glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash. All right. I'm Taziyar Gabar, his brother, Atiyak Napash, Prophets in Babylon, Waco, Texas, under the branch of the Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida Camp, the Warners, unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the Hopi elect. All right. I'll say Shalom, Ababa, Ba'asun. Shalom.